What is up, guys? It's been a minute, right? I mean, what's what's really happened since you saw me last? Like, Taylor Swift blessed us with a new album. Um, my ears are so blessed by her. And there's like 45 YouTubers who have been canceled and then reinstated. Um, what else? What else? Oh, yeah. I'm pregnant. Um, my husband and I are six months pregnant. And honestly, I started this just to have fun. And the first trimester was not fun. So I just wasn't in the mood to, you know, have to pile this um, thing that's supposed to be fun onto my plate of like, I wasn't feeling good. I had a lot going on those months as well. Um, but now that I'm feeling better, I was like, trying to do this for weeks but I haven't had time but I'm back and I thought what better way to come back than with like my favorite things that have come out in the last few weeks so like a September's favorite you can call it that if you want um it is going to be like really recent things um some of the stuff I picked up in the rogue sale a couple of weeks ago and I've been using um and I'm really actually loving I bought them on like a whim so but we'll discuss that in a second um but yeah your your girl is pregnant <laughs> um, after like a two year long infertility journey, but that's a video for another day. Um, if you really care to hear that, you can comment that below and all my subscribers, I love all nine of you. I hope there's still nine when I put this up. <laughs> all right. So let's just get into makeup then. Um, cause I have nothing on my face and my face wants something. Um, okay, cool. So I'm going to start with eyes. I always start with eyes. Usually do. Um, so the first thing that I've been like loving, it's not a new product. It's just something that I had never tried. And like I'd seen all the beauty gurus try it and talk about it. But of course, you know, like with that kind of stuff, are they lying? Just because you know why. Lying. Um, is the Painterly Pro paint pot. Um, I, it's actually something that I'm like addicted to. I can't wear eyeshadow without it. It, I find that like, it he makes a huge difference for me. So graceful. I'm going to go ahead and put some on my eyes. And I just do like, I go in a couple of t like two, three times all over my lid. Um, just to make sure that it's all covered when I first started putting it on I noticed it wasn't really like sticking and working and I think that was just because I wasn't I hadn't warmed up the product like at all and then I also wasn't like applying enough you don't need tons but it is like a more sheer product and I just need to make sure that like my whole lids covered you know what I'm saying you guys you know sorry I'm covering the camera it's been a few minutes since I was here um cool so that was simple. The next thing that I'm going to put um, on is my shadow. And honestly, what I've been loving, and I know that, like, I'm always doing a Jeffree product. I swear to God on every single video. I, I love, I love the Jawbreaker palette. Like, what can I say? It just, it's it for me. The colors, like, I'm such a color whore. Like, honestly, like, Oh, there's just, I look at this and there's just endless possibilities and that just gets me like super excited um, because I love putting color on my lids. Um, I do do neutral, but I'm the girl showing up to the office with like <laughs> bright pink and purple eyes that day. Um, I'm, there's no shame in my game. So I'm going to, I think, do like a smoked out, not smoked out, a purple like more neutral look just to not get too crazy because I'm not going anywhere today <laughs> really like that requires like a full look um so I'm gonna go into bite me which is like this really nice purple shade pro youtube right there so it's this shade um and I'm just gonna put it on my outer V and I'm using do we care I'm using the morphe m m506 brush I'm such a pro at this you guys all right, so I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to kind of like dab it. The formula for this is like super pigmented, but also really blendable. 
And you're probably like, Jenna, what does that mean? Like, people just talk so much when they're putting on makeup. <laughs> that means, like, actually nothing. Um, I'm just meaning, like, they're, they're actually really buttery. Like, I think that's what made me love this palette so much is that, to me, it's the best formula he's had. Like, don't get me wrong. I've got blue blood sitting right here. And to be honest, I bought that shit because of the packaging. I never touch that palette. Why? Because I don't need 45 shades of blue. <laughs> but like, he got my money. So like, marketing worked. I was a ploy. And they um, totally worked on me. You know what I'm saying? So that's the way the cookie crumbled. Um, I do try to use it. But like, just because I paid so much money for it, I'm like, I have to use that palette. But I'm just, I don't. And that's just that. And it's sad. But this one I'm using all the time. I'm using, like, daily. Um, and, like, no no shade or anything, but I was, I bought this. And then, like, Manny, who I love and adore, he came out with that strawberry palette, you know. Um, and I didn't get it simply because I already had the colors from buying this Jawbreaker palette. So, if you're, like, I don't know how that formula is. I did swatch it, actually, today in Sephora, and it seemed really nice. But if you're on the fence about this Jawbreaker palette, like... Don't be. It's worth the money. Like, it's so many shadows. There's, like, no fallout, no kick. Like, look at my eyeballs right now. I'm going in and, like, dabbing, and there's no fallout under my eyes. Well, I just wiped my brush there, but there's no fallout. And they're going. it's going on so easy, so quick. So, yeah. I like to do kind of, like, an intense first round before I start blending with my shadows just because um, I have hazel eyes so my eyes are actually green with a gold in the center and colors like purples, reds, pinks, um, those are going to make my eyes pop. So uh, when it's on my lid, fun fact, if you have my eye color, use those. Um, for on my lid, I like to like really pack it on because when I blend it out, it's going to soften it anyways. So don't feel like you have to have a soft hand when you're putting it. Um, so obviously for this look, I've gone ahead and put it in my crease as well as on my outer V. Because that's what I want to do. And this is my YouTube. Boom. <laughs> and I'm pregnant. Um, okay, so now I'm just going to like feather it out. I'm just going to make those corners right there. The tops just really look seamless. Oh yeah, she's doing her makeup with her camera, you guys. So profesh. Ew, I just said profesh. Gross. <laughs> okay. And because this is obviously like a dark purple, I am going to have to go in and clean up like kind of where some of this color is going to get above my lid, which is totally fine. I just want it to look really blend it up here and like seamless I don't want it to look like I don't want it you never want it to look like skin 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 color you know you don't want to see like necessarily a line okay so just feather it out really nice this is a color pop brush nope this is a morphe brush I don't know what brush it is because it doesn't say but it is morphe or schmorphe however it translates into this okay so now that that is done I'm gonna go in with I think honestly I'm gonna go in with snack which is this shade right here and I'm gonna just put it on the rest of my lid really professional wording I know I get it. <laughs> all right so I'm just gonna bam oh it's such a nice color so this is really nice because it's gonna kind of it's like a pinky shimmer Color and it just really is easy to blend with this purple and like it's almost like a good transition so I put the purple on first because it's the darker shade I'll be and then I'm putting this on and I'm just kind of blending it into that purple color I know I'm not the best with like showing you guys what I'm doing while I'm doing it but I'm trying also if you think my beauty lights too light too bright let me know I turned it way down because I thought it was way too bright but maybe it's still too bright I don't know 
So I'm just taking it and I just, I tend to dab and then spread. Don't know if people think that's correct. Works for me. My shadow comes out flawless every single time. So guys, that's what we're going to do. Okay. All right. So see how now it's just a really nice, soft transition going from this pinky shimmer shade into this purple. Okie dokie. Looking weird because all I've got is this gorgeous shadow on. Um, another, so what I'm going to use as eyeliner, this is also not like a new product and I've used it for like a month, two months. I don't know, but I've been using it and I'm loving it and it's a favorites video. So boom. Um, it is the Tom Ford eye defining pen. Um, it's just the, it's expensive. I know, but it's lasts, it lasts for like ever. Cause I've bought it before and it lasted like a year of like almost daily use. Um, and it's just a really deep, like I got it in zero one deeper. Um, and it's a really black, um, formula. It doesn't really smudge on me. It doesn't bleed. Um, it's dark as it says. Um, and it comes with like, so it comes with this tip, which is it going to focus? I don't know. Let me see. Well, she fancy like that. Instead, it wants to focus on my hand, but you see the tip. Um, and it, so it comes with that, which is really easy to kind of like start your base if you do like a wing like me. And then if you want to get the, you know, the tip of your wing really sharp, it comes with this more sharp side, um, which really allows you to define that out. So it's, uh, it, it took me like maybe two tries to just kind of get used to the tip. Um, and then I was like good to go and I've loved it ever since. I can't stop using it. So um, that's what I'm gonna use on my eyes today. And you know, maybe it's something that you guys will decide to splurge on. Um, I'm really like, to be honest, I'm super picky with my um, eyeliner tips. Bam! She winged. Mm -mm. I'm so in love with wings. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other eye off camera because like my bangs there and it's like annoying and you don't really want to watch me do it. Sped up again, anyways. Do you? No. Okay, I'll be right back in like two seconds for you. Ka chow. Ka bam. Ah. Oh. Ka bam. Ah. Oh. Got the eyeliner on. Feeling cute, but not cute because my face isn't done. I have no mascara on, um, but we get in there. So yeah, the mascara that I'm going to use, where is it? Here it is, um, is one that I've used for ages. I always try their mascaras. And to be honest, today I, tr or the last like month, I actually was trying the Tom Ford mascara, which is like a $46 mascara um, because I made the mistake of listening to a YouTuber who said it was like amazing and so great. And I tried it and I friggin hated it. It was clumpy. It was messy. It was like the, the wand was like huge. Um, so for me, it didn't work. Um, I obviously love other Tom Ford products. That was just not it for me personally. Um, but maybe you guys like it. Sound off below if you've tried that and you like it. Anyways, I returned it today. So I'm back to my OG that always works for me. It's the Bad Gal Bang Mascara. This it's in a pink for like limited edition. It's literally just the packaging. It's the same thing and it costs the same amount. Um, I like this because of the wand. I tend to like these kind of wands better. They get in between my lashes easier. They allow me to lengthen my lashes. Um, this doesn't flake on me. It doesn't rub off during the day. It stays where I need it to stay and it makes my lashes look long as heck. And fun fact, being pregnant, your lashes fall out they're growing back now and they're growing lusciously, but initially they were falling out. Um, so that wasn't fun. So this mascara helped look like they weren't falling out. And that, you guys, is all I can really ask for is to look like I have some lashes. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it on because, you know, do I use falsies on this channel? No, I don't. Not unless I'm doing like a formal look, 
or something like that? Am I going to like do a look with lashes? Or if I'm going to an event where I need lashes, like a wedding, a baby shower. I love lashes, don't get me wrong, but like they're not an everyday thing. Cool, I just got mascara on my friggin' face. Here's a hack for you. If you get mascara on your face, like I do every day, take the spoolie and just uh, glide it like that. Kind of hurts your face. Look at that mouth open of mine. But it gets rid of it, so bam. As I go over it with a beauty blender. <laughs> so that is actually something better to do if you get mascara like in your shadow and you're like, oh crap. Just use the spoolie and it gets rid of it like super easy. Um, you don't need to do your mascara like as much as I'm doing it right now. I just go like this because I like my lashes super coated, super long looking, super individual looking, um, which you're not going to be able to tell in here unless I get really, really close. Yep. Do you guys think it's possible to do mascara with your mouth closed? I don't. Not like completely closed. No. Okay, so I'll do the other eye and I'll be right back. But ba bam Just like that, mascara is on my face. Um, cool. So, priming for my face. I love this gripping primer by Cover FX. Um, it is like really... How do I describe this? It's like, it, it's called the gripping and firming primer. Firming. Um, sorry if I'm not looking in my lens. I always forget. Or in vain. Who knows? Both? Um, so I just put it on my finger, duh, and I just kind of like dab it on. It, it is kind of like sticky and tacky. Um, what is it? What do I describe it like? Like when you know when you go like that and you can feel something on you, that's like, that's what it is. It almost feels like glue. <laughs> like I'm not gonna lie. And I don't know if that is what makes it so incredible, but I'm not like a big primer person. Like... I use the Tatcha primer that, like, everyone raves about, that, like, Silk one. And I've bought it, like, twice um, because it lasts, like, a really long time. But I don't know if I have ever actually saw, like, a difference in my makeup. Whereas, like, with this, I have really oily skin. When I wear this, I don't get oil, like, at all on my face. So I just pat it in. Um, and my makeup does not move. So to me, that means the... It's actually a primer that's like doing what primers are supposed to do. So for me, Cover FX uh, gripping primer is a win. Um, and I, I can actually like recommend it to you. Um, so cool. So the foundation that I'm loving right now, which I'm like super surprised by because I hate, I have hated in the past Urban Decay foundations. Um, and so I just decided to try this Stay Naked. Um, and I do, I stay naked all day. Um, it doesn't move. It doesn't budge on my face. It just leaves me leaving, looking snatched as hell all day long. And, oh, that looks bright, but I swear it's my color. Um, I can't ask for more than that. Like all a girl wants is to look snatched for eight hours of the day, sometimes longer and like not look like a greasy ball of grease. Um, also, I'm just gonna, like, preface this. Don't come at me, beauty gurus, because I'm not one. Um, I didn't wet my beauty blender because I'm pregnant and I was too lazy to get up and, uh, do that. Even though the bathroom's, like, in this room. <laughs> and that's the tea. Okay, you guys? If you see me looking down, it's just because I have a mirror down here. And for once, I want you guys to, like, see me be able to do... This, let me go a little closer so you can actually see. And as, if you've watched my videos before, you know I don't have a fancy camera, so it's not like I can, like, be like the YouTubers that are like, let me just zoom you in right now. Um, my version of zooming you in at this point is me moving myself closer. <laughs> so, that's what I'm doing to um, try and get this so you can actually see. So honestly, like, as you can tell, I've just gone over each part with like the one part of the foundation. I think I did like three full pumps though to cover my entire face.
but like I tend to gravitate to like full coverage um no not full coverage like medium coverage basically what I want I don't have like acne prone skin anymore I used to um I'm just going in for like I did like half a pump just to get it on my neck because guys please please blend it to your neck for the love of everything holy don't be that girl who like has this like snatched face and then like didn't drag it down her neck and then like in photos I feel so sorry for you <laughs> and that's just the truth so but anyways what was I saying yeah I, I want it to cover my pores because I've got large ones I want it to cover my bang bags um even though I'll put concealer on anyways um and I want it to not fall into my fine lines and I just want it to not like make my face an oil bucket and this like takes all those boxes so as you can see like mattified gorge um really liking it sorry it, like if the light goes weird um I do recommend this it says it's oh, I thought it said it was waterproof it doesn't so don't try that um cool so for concealer I am gonna do the Boing <laughs> Cakeless Concealer. I thought that this was like a gimmick that all the YouTubers were like saying was amazing in the next Shape Tape and da da da. But me being me, of course, like bought it anyways, even though I thought that that's what they were doing. Um, and I'm actually really stoked that I did because for me, it works like Shape Tape. Um, I don't remember the cost. You can Google it. Um, but it, it works, it lasts, it doesn't. I do notice though, like with this, that I can't put like, I don't, I can't bake under my eyes with this um, cause it will fall in my crease. Ooh, I put a lot on that eye. She looking bright under them eyes. Um, so just keep that in mind when you do it. So kind of what I've learned with this, and that's totally fine that I can't bake. I don't really like baking under my eyes anyways cause I do think it ages you. Um, is I just kind of like sweep some powder over it to just to kind of get it to stay and that's all it needs like and that's probably a good thing like why use a product that needs more work right like more steps so it probably says something to the product being a little bit better that I don't have to bake with it and um, if you are a beauty guru and you're watching this please don't come for my technique I don't have one um, this is just what makes me feel snatched. Is that my word today? Snatched? Ugh, do you know why I'm saying that? Because I am obsessed with this podcast called The Morning Toast. If you don't listen to it and you are in your 20s, um, like me, and you love, like, pop culture and just, like, things that don't take themselves seriously, you would love this podcast. Um, but anyways, they say snatched all the time and it's, like, my new favorite word. Um, so I'm saying it. Like, look how nice that blends out and how easily. My eye, under eyes are bright. You can't see any bags. It didn't crease into my fine lines, which my beauty beauty lights, like, are always going to give you some grace. But I do have lines there. Like, you can kind of see them. And, like, look, nothing. So, and it stays, like, like, like this is how it looks all day. So, I highly recommend the Cakeless Concealer. Um, before anything sets too much, I'm going to go ahead and put some powder on my face and this is another product that I am loving so this I'm putting under my September favorites even though I've been using it for probably like two months but I haven't made a video so blah. I don't know what that noise was um it's the hourglass veil translucent setting powder I don't remember if I've talked about this before please buy it um it's made without talc I think I have talked about this it's made without talc why is that a big deal well I'm patting the bottom Majority of um, beauty powders are, well, all powder, translucent powders are pretty much made with talc. And see, I'm just gonna sweep it under my eye. Just like that, that's it. And it just keeps everything in place. It's all I'm doing is setting it. This brush that I'm using is from MAC. It's a stippling brush. It's really old. Cause why change it? Anyways. Um, yeah, talc is cancer causing, um, and I'd heard about this product and people raved about it and I bought it like, and it, it does exactly what I wanted. It doesn't move. It doesn't, um, 
sit like on top of your skin like it goes into your pores not goes into your pores but you know what I mean like it's makes your pores go away really nicely um so as you can see I put powder I'm not gonna bake today because I don't normally like bake unless I'm going to an event so I just like to kind of like dust some powder all over um I tend to kind of like get a little bit more on the insides of my nose insides of my nose the insides of my no the outer part of my nose here the crease and my chin because that's where I'll get oily and my laugh lines um and then I go like ham on my forehead um I don't know how much I'll do today though but just so that you guys know but I can't say enough good things about this powder I think it's like $60 which I know is expensive but like is your health expensive no I'm just kidding um but I've had this for months and I'm not even halfway done it so and I wear it every day like every day even if I don't wear like a full face of makeup I'm setting my face with this so take that as you may um you if you wanted to try it they do so like that small they do sell that small like travel size of it um and that could give you a good read of if you like it so cool looking super ghosty um which is fun so I'm gonna do my brows next and I'm gonna use which I need my eyebrows wax but like whatever um I'm gonna use the new Fenty brow thingy and do you know why I bought this I honestly bought it because of this I was like that is so cute instead of a spoolie it's like a little brush I don't know why I talk like that um and it I love it I just love the little brush it's so cute um it's it's pretty much like any other pencil like it's not like it's a groundbreaking formula and like new you know whatever um they kind of just did that with the brush side that's what's the new part that's what attracts the buyers to it um like me who are like a sucker for some packaging just obsessed with their brows look at that difference oh she bushy mm. love a bushy brow queen of the bushy brows right here um I have natural like thick bushy brows so like I'm just never gonna have like a thin brow you guys right I'll do the other one I'll just do the other one off camera yeah okay all right we're back we got some brows I'm, all happy, I'm happy with them. I could spend time cleaning them up, but, like, for the sake of this, I'm just not. Um, but, yeah, definitely check this out. Um, I bought it online, and I think I might have gotten too dark of a color. Um, so I might do, like, one color up. I don't know what color I got. It doesn't say. It just has this little color thing. So, sorry, can't be more help. Um, bronzer, I don't have anything, like, new to try mainly because I'm still on this Fenty thing that I've been on for like months. Um, I think I use, yeah, I use shade, 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 shady biz, mouthful. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M527 brush. I like to put bronzer on with like a really bushy brush. Um, it's just my preference. I'm not gonna put tons of bronzer on today um because I'm just trying to keep it like a little bit neutral so I'm just gonna do like that typical I'm not gonna contour um either today so I'm just gonna do like that typical three you know that they tell you when you're in grade eight um to do so I also I don't know like if you got like your techniques obviously because I've never met you with bronzer I only go from here up um with my bronzer and that and I do it in this motion because this is going to pull your skin up. If you go down, it's going to actually pull the makeup down and it can make your skin look saggy. Um, which, you know, as you inch closer into your 30s, I'm not 30, but I'm just saying, like, the closer you get to it, you just become aware of that stuff. Um, and I don't want to go any lower because I don't want to look like I have a 5 o'clock shadow. Which could be something you've never thought of before, um, but just be aware of it. Like, if you drag your bronzer too low, um, you're going to start looking like you have a 5 o'clock shadow unintentionally and you may not even notice it but like other people could be noticing it talking really fast today I'm gonna blame it on my child in my belly 
Um, I go into my hairline because I have a widow's peak and this just kind of helps my confidence because um, it makes my forehead look a little smaller and I feel like I have a five head. Um, so as you can tell, I just kind of take some color there. I'll blend it. Nice. I don't mind if my face looks like a little warm there um, because that's what I want. I just want it to be blended though. I have to spend some time blending right here. <laughs> do you love how I just said don't go like this and I just did it? <laughs> uh, teaching at its finest. Don't listen to me. <laughs> uh, also, I didn't do my hair today, so come at me, bro. Um, this is just all natural. My hair's at least grown a little bit since I did my last video. Um, I was like not on the short hair train once I got pregnant um, because I know my face is going to get really round. Okay. Yeah. I think that's all I want. Cool. I could honestly spend forever like going over that and like blending it and then putting more on. I'm not, I do normally sometimes contour my nose. Not going to do that today. Um, cause I don't want to, I don't really have a new blush either. I'll just tell you my favorite blush of all time is the NARS orgasm Oasis. Um, it's like this really nice shade. It's got like some, you can see like some reflection, ugh, some reflections in there. Reflections. I don't know what that word is. Um, I have a brush, blush brush I normally use. It's not this. I'm just going to use this because I've been loving using like a bigger brush. It's just a ColourPop brush. I don't know what it's called. It doesn't have a number. Um, and I am trying this new thing where I go on the tops of the apples of my cheeks and I drag it back. I like that because I was noticing... When I was putting it on before, if I put it on the apples of my cheeks, it would be, the product would sit too low. And that kind of defeats the purpose of chiseling out my cheekbone if my blush is too low, right? So I like that look. Works for me. Um, little tip that I can kind of like pass on to you guys. Um, cool. So, oh my God, this is the most excited one that I'm excited about. I, this is like a really old Smashbox fan brush, um, but I love it. It's a little dirty right now because I use it all the time. Um, I am loving this Jouer. You probably saw me like using my makeup for it. <laughs> that was my camera. This Jouer um, powder highlighter. This is the sh shade Rose Quartz. Ugh, my beauty lights are like ruining. There you go. Um, and it's beautiful. Like, you'll see in a second. We'll get a little bit on my fan brush. So obviously it's a fan brush. It's not a really dense brush. The fan brushes are great for like a really natural highlight look, right? Because it's going to spread it out really nicely. So it's just, are you serious? Look at that. This is like just, they have four shades in this. Um, and I got this one because it matched my skin tone the best. Oh, oh, whoa. Might have gone a little too low with that, but we can deal. Like seriously. That's all I, I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna go a little bit higher on this side because I went a little too low. Are you kidding? Love. Yeah, highly recommend that. So um, I don't know if I really wanna put anything on my lips. Uh, you know what? Forget about it. I'm gonna do Spanked. It's gonna be dark, but it's gonna be cute. This is the Fenty. I think they're called like lip matte mozelles. Eh, we'll make it work. It's coming off more red on the monitor than it is in person. Actually looks nice cool okay so that's it that is the final look um, these are all products that I love I'm obsessed with um, I named all of them I'll try my best to remember to put them all in the description below um, 
but give me a, if I forget something, just like type it in the comments. I'll be happy to let you know what product it was. So that's it. That is the look. These are my favorites. Um, I am going to try and be better about uploading more often. I'm not going to commit myself to an upload schedule, you guys. I'm not going to say like, I'm here Mondays and Fridays or whatever. I'm going to try and upload once a week. I hope that's okay with you. Please don't get mad at me if it's every other week. Sometimes um, I have a lot going on with this pregnancy and of course like my regular job and just life in general is just... There's a lot happening. Um, but yeah, comment below your favorite if you loved any of these products or if you hated some of these that I love. Um, I always love hearing that kind of stuff. If there's anything you think I should try next, please let me know. Um, and of course, I will see you guys next time. I promise there'll be a next time and it won't be as long. Like, Scouty's honor. <laughs> All right, bye.